Welcome to True Paranormal Stories. I'm Sharon. Supernatural Visitors comes to us from New York, but it could happen anywhere. Sue's grandmother and great aunt Alice rented a house during World War II they swore was haunted. Alice and Grandma Helen noticed that things were missing on more than one occasion. They decided to lock them up in a box. The two women were the only ones with keys. When they'd open the box, it would be empty. They started hearing heavy footsteps in the night going up and down the stairs and through the hallway. There were cold breezes where there was no logical explanation for them. They did a bit of research from helpful neighbors and learned there had been a murder-suicide in the house. They realized why the house was such a good deal and why no one stayed very long. They promptly moved out. Grandma Helen passed away at the age of 101 years. Sue's mother went to visit her in the hospital when she was in her final days and happened to hit a time when she was very lucid. Now Grandma Helen lived by herself until three months before she died and she was never senile or otherwise batty except for the last week or so before she passed away in which she was in and out of it. In a very lucid moment she told Sue's mother how the father of a cousin by marriage whom she'd only met once or twice had come to visit her and told her that it was okay to move on to the other side. In Grandma Helen's trademark logical way, she went on to say, Well, at first I couldn't figure out why the other side didn't send your father, or even Bob, which was Sue's dad. But then I realized that I probably would have thought I hallucinated that. Uncle Jack, though, I barely knew him. Random. He seemed to ease her mind, though, which was nice. Grandma Helen liked the idea of an emissary being sent to usher her off to her next plane of existence. She was pretty psyched to get out of here by the end and see what was next. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and tell a friend or two. Until next time.